Let's go with the 20 bomb! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. My name is T-Captain X or Tyler. Today's video, we're gonna cover one of my favorite SMGs in Warzone right now. It's also the fastest killing SMG in Warzone right now, and that is the Cold War MP5. Now I know the nail gun does technically kill faster. It's technically considered an SMG, but it's just not nearly as viable as the Cold War MP5 because the nail gun only has 20 rounds or nails per clip. Um, so it really struggles in trios and quads, unlike the MP5, which can have up to 50 rounds. This game, I ended up dropping 20 kills and a win on Rebirth Island with the Cold War MP5 and a few kills from my Farah as well. It's gonna be one of the most memorable games I'll probably ever have on Warzone. It was my birthday and I was doing a subathon to celebrate. My community and my friends were showing some insane support during it and it was just an awesome game all around. So enjoy the video. I'll be covering the loadout and the attachments at the end and everything will be timestamped below if you're looking for the loadout. Why aren't there any guns right there? Yo, thank you so much, guys. I'm down. Coming in down low. Yeah, one sec. Are you kidding me? I got it. Oh, no. Dropping him behind you, Cap. We're right here. Brandon, I don't know if I can get you to be honest, because I'm going to get myself killed if I do. Corey, holy shit. Ah! Thank you so much, guys. Oh my god, we're getting some crazy subs in here. And I'm sweating my ass off right now. No, there were so many. Today is the big day. Uh, munitions, maybe? Munitions? I threw one already. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm an idiot. I appreciate you guys so much, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Tarzan! Yo, you guys are nuts! We're at a level 5 hype train. What the heck? Oh boy. Oh boy. Cody with the biddies. 300 bits. Thank you. Thank you. And then we got Marnock with another gifted! Ah! Ah! 
Oh my god. I'm sweating my ass off this game. There's so many people here. Can I get a- Oh yeah, happy birthday, Carly. Thank you. Down one on the live thing. There's one below me. Cody! Oh, the witch, that's perfect. Oh, these you guys are nuts. Are saving my life right now. Oh, I can't jump into this. 37 meters, there's two. We're probably in this house. It's a 2v4, it's a 2v4. You can try. Nice. I'm gonna push off that. Let's go with the 20 bomb! Let's go! All right, guys, so this is the loadout I was using for the game. Uh, I'll quickly cover my perks and uh, equipment first. It always pretty much use EOD and Amped as my uh, perks, and then either Ghost or even High Alert if I'm able to get a second loadout. When I'm playing Rebirth, I really favor using throwing knives. With how hectic it is, it really helps in getting finishes on enemies, which I used a lot in this video. And then I do prefer the Heartbeat Sensor. It's just such a strong tool. Obviously, stuns are good, but I tend to prefer the Heartbeat Sensor. For the Cold War MP5 loadout, I I am using now I'm not using a barrel and a lot of people see that and they're like what how are you not using a barrel on an SMG the part of the reason for that is if you use any of the blueprints on the Cold War MP5s it gives you this way cleaner iron sight that you can see right here if you put a barrel on it it gets rid of that the task force makes the recoil a lot worse on this gun and the recoil already is a little bit higher compared to other SMGs so personally I don't like doing that you could use like a reinforced heavy if you wanted to add some more range, but again, you're gonna lose that clean iron sight and it's gonna slow your movement speed down a lot. I'm using this gun point blank, so I don't really need the extra range. I do use the agency suppressor over the regular suppressor. The agency is gonna help with your recoil and it's also gonna help extend that range a little bit. Since we're not using that barrel, I wanna use the agency to kind of make up for those things. The sound suppressor would give you slightly better aim down sight speed, but it's it's very small difference, so that's why I prefer the agency. The next two attachments are all about improving your mobility. So the, the Tiger Team Spotlight and the Bruiser Grip both significantly improve your mobility. We're gonna use the 50 round mag. You could use the 40 for a little bit faster reloads and better ADS, but the ADS is really fast on this gun as is, and I prefer the 50. The 50 round fast mag will slow your ADS down more, and the reload on this one isn't too bad itself, so I prefer the 50 round drum. And then I'm using the Raider stock, which is gonna give us that great sprint to fire time and also really good strafe speed. If you don't like the super fast strafe speed, you could just go for no stock, which is gonna give you just better sprint to fire times. Um, it's kind of a personal preference, but I really prefer the Raider stock. When it comes to the Farah that I was using, I'll cover it very quickly. Um, using the Gru, the last barrel, the Spetsnaz barrel, 60 round, the Gru elastic wrap, which is gonna help with your ADS times, and then the three times. For Rebirth, I'd probably be fine to take off the Gru and run the regular suppressor for a little bit better ADS time, um, or even in exchange the three, the three times for like a red dot or something like that. But the Farah is another very, very good gun. Guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please drop a like on it for me and consider subscribing to the channel. I cover all sorts of Warzone stuff, including loadouts, gameplay, settings. And if you play mouse and keyboard, I also cover a lot of videos on improving your aim specifically when it comes to playing mouse and keyboard through things like Kovacs and things like that. So guys, have a great day. See you in the next one.